Hold up, bro. Hey, hey, man, say, man. No, we back like the arrow that point that way. Look, bro, skip the intro. We getting straight to the bit, bit, bop, baby. Real shit, bro. We getting straight to it. Niggas know, like, niggas know every now and then, I hit niggas with the Jimmy Mac, bro. Just one of those, you feel me? Because, look, I know I ain't been making no videos, you feel me? Like, I know I ain't been replying to niggas' comments. Like, I've been really, like, out the mix, dream, but I'm hip, bro. Fuck, is you geeking for? Like, I know what's going on, man. They, oh, he's a shock blogger, and all he do is talk about eating a block captain, and bit, bit, bop. Like, all right, so, all right, I'm going to talk. We're going to talk battle rap today. That's my point. You feel me? We gonna, that's, that's, that's what we're going to do, bro. We talking battle rap, bro. Y'all want to talk battle rap? All right, let's talk battle rap, man. You feel me? Now, what's going on in the culture? Let's just keep it a bean, bro. Niggas is geeking. Let's just keep it a bean, bro. Niggas is geeking, bro. All these niggas, bro. Not all of them, but you know what I'm saying. Like, niggas is geeking, bro. Rock. Uh, fucking, uh, 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 Loaded Lux. You hear me? Murder Moog. Like, all these, these niggas is geek. Briz, Ross, thing. he really geeking. Shorty is really geeking. He is. Well, that's a whole nother video. Listen, bro. Nothing but drama. But, check this out. You feel me? Cause niggas stay on the, you feel me, like, drama, bro. N these niggas be drama queens. Like, let's just keep it a fucking bean, bro. These niggas be drama queens, bro. As tough as they claim to be, these niggas be drama queens. And I don't even think they know they drama queens. Like, because these niggas is so mind fuck, they like, the fans eat this shit up. It's drama, bro. And But let's keep it a bean. Like, it's, al it's, it's always been drama. And it's always going to be drama in battle rap. That, is, that drama will always be the driving force in battle rap. You feel me? I, I'm going to explain why. The, the world is fucking negative. Like, feel me? Like, let's just keep it a bit. You feel me? Like, the world is negative as fuck, bro. Like, very negative. Everything is about negativity. Like, you can't even... You can't even fucking survive without being a bad person, bro. Like, you not survive in this world if you're trying to be a, a Jesus freak. If you're trying to be overzealous. If you're trying to be a good Samaritan. If you're trying to be, like, it's not going to work, bro. The world is cutthroat. And at times, you got to be cutthroat to survive. So, that same spirit... Is on battle rap. It's in every fucking thing. You get what I'm saying? Because that's just the balance of the world. You got the good and you got the bad. It's impossible to be 100% evil. Just like it's impossible to be 100% righteous. You feel me? That's everything is about balance. And right now, what's fucking battle rap up is the same thing that's fucking the world up. You feel me? I'm, I'm trying to explain to y'all why drama will always exist in battle rap. You want to talk battle rap? We're going to fucking talk battle rap. Battle rap is a negative fucking place. You feel what I'm saying? Real shit. But I'm explaining why. You feel me? It's no real balance in battle rap. And if it is, some, it's some balance because balance exists. But it's just like, it's not. it ain't even, bro. Everybody in battle rap, I made plenty of videos about this. Want to be a fucking tough guy. Want to be a gangster rapper. You want to be a street dude. Want to be bip, bip, bop. Like, you, you get what I'm saying? And even in the world, like, this is just like the person you feel as though you got to be. Or in most cases, this is the person you want to be because this is appealing to the fucking people. You feel me? No different than why a female would rather date a dope dealer and a nigga who got his fucking PhD in a legitimate, substantial job. She still ever fuck the dope dude. Even if she do fuck with y'all, she gonna cheat on y'all for y'all. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, the just negativity is appealing. Like, it's like gravity. It pours us. You feel me? Like, real shit. And battle rap is just too many fucking tough guys. But if I'm keeping it a bang, you feel what I'm saying? Respectfully, you feel me? Like... Cause niggas do be Jimmy Mackin, but I ain't gonna lie, to a degree, I be, I be, though I, I might not agree, but I be understanding, like, what Nick, what, what be niggas train of thought, you feel me? Like, Nick, the, some of the shit, 
that niggas be beefing about, bro. Some of the shit that niggas say to other battle rappers or whatever the case may be. Like, however they feel and however they address them. In their mind, they think they doing the right thing, bro. You feel me? Real shit. When Piper Boy Williams was dissing uh, Lady Caution, Tay Rock girlfriend, and you know, like, every time somebody play with her, like, he tee the fuck up. Like, he really loves Shorty. You feel me? But he, he crossed that line. You feel me? Because he disrespected his dead mother. So in Piper Boy Williams' mind, he was right. I give you a prime example. I was just in Family Dollar, right? I'm in line and shit, and it's this little boy walking past. He got like this little eight pack, a little small Pringle cans. So he 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 get they started dropping out and shit. You feel me? Niggas trying to call like, yo, you dropping stuff. So he been down to pick it up, and he dropped more. You get what I'm saying? And, and damn, niggas like shit. Want to out? Want to help? Sure. You feel me? The girl in front of me said, just leave it there. Somebody would get it up. You feel me? But he wind up, you know, picking everything up and, and you feel me, doing what he wanted to do, which I'm we gonna come right back to that. But the girl in her mind, she was doing the right thing. In her mind. She like, okay, he's this little boy is having a hard time with these Pringles. You feel me? In her mind, the right thing to do was to tell him to just discard it, just abandon it and let somebody else deal with it because you're having a hard time, you're young, just let a grown-up get it. Somebody will get to it. You feel me? She wasn't thinking about, oh, I'm going to make uh, 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 the, these niggas job harder. You feel me? If I'm going to make them have to go call the janitor or some, make one of these niggas pick this shit up and they, I'm spitting this shit and they ain't even do it. Like She wasn't thinking like that. She was thinking about, you feel me? Whatever she thought was the best resolution at the moment for the little Nick. So my point is, oh, before I get to my point, he did the right thing. You feel me? He ain't listen to Shorty. He didn't listen to her. He did the right thing. He picked it up himself and carried it back. He put it back where it was supposed to be. He did the right thing. He could have just listened to the lady. You feel me? And... Though she didn't have ill intent, that was the wrong thing to do. Like, come on. Like, he's, he's big enough to pick this shit up and put it where it need to be. Let that man, like, you feel me? Like, you can't soften the Lord nigga up or try to give him the easy way out. No. Let him pick it up, bro, so you can learn responsibility. You can learn, you feel me, to clean up your own shit. You feel me? Nobody's going to be responsible for what for what you did but you. I mean? But... This is how niggas be thinking in battle rap when such and such is this and this nigga or this person is saying something crazy about his baby mother or his girlfriend, your girl died and bip, bip, bop, and niggas is dissing each other and now it's starting to get heated. These niggas, like, what they, like, the, the insults that they trading back and forth, they feel like they justified in saying what they saying. They feel like they doing the right thing. Based off of whatever transpired, but in their mind, they're doing the right thing. So you got a lot of motherfuckers in battle rap who think they're doing the right thing. And niggas think that being a gun bar king, not singling out uh, 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 Tay Rock. When I say being a gun bar king, I don't necessarily mean the nigga who's titled the gun bar king. I'm talking about everybody wanting to be a tough guy. And the only punchlines they can come up with has to have something to do with a gun bar. It has to have something to do with killing somebody. You get what I'm saying? Everybody. So that's negative. So that's drama in itself. You feel me? What kills me is, and I'm about to close this video, but what kills me, this this is what kills me. I'm going to keep it a beam with y'all. That niggas be really ready to go to war over some battle rap shit. You feel me? That, like, it burns my soul when niggas take it outside of, because that's really the root of it. Feel me? It's it start off. It's, it starts off as battle rap. You feel me? You saying this? He saying that? And whatever. Y'all get a little aggressive. Might get a little physical. But then when niggas start talking about your child, and niggas start talking about your girl, or your wife, or your dead relatives, and calling you a bitch, and you know, then it becomes non-battle rap and then it escalates or possible most time it don't go nowhere because these niggas just be actors not all of them but niggas be woofing niggas don't really be wanting to take it that far but for the camera they'll act as if or they'll play that role you feel me and playing that role can really get you killed you get what i'm saying like for real like playing that role like you thinking like all right fucking i'm ready 
and you pump yourself up and you might not even been planning to, 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 to jump out your body and act that way, but because the camera's on, because it's people around and you want to be viewed as this tough guy, you play this role knowing you really don't want to do that, but you do it anyway and it can fuck around and get you killed, get you fucked up or anything, bro. You get what I'm saying? But niggas going to war over nothing. That's my point. Literally nothing. Niggas is beefing, threatening motherfuckers, pulling guns out over what? Over nothing. You niggas ain't going to war about nothing that really matters, bro. If I'm going to war, nigga, man, listen, man, we going to go to war against all these motherfuckers uh, 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 in, this, in this black community. Right, all these foreign motherfuckers in his in his black community who own all these businesses that we spend money in every single fucking day. They don't give anything back. They don't hire us to work in their stores. You feel me? They don't fucking uh, uh, give out book bags during the beginning of the school year. They don't give out turkeys. They don't nothing. Toy drop. They don't do shit. They don't. They just sucking. They just like. I don't want to say sucking, but you know what I'm saying? Like, they just draining, not, they is draining because that's oppression. But what I'm trying to say is they just, it's all coming in and nothing is coming out. It's a maximum profit for them because they're not giving literally nothing back. Nothing is leaving their community from, you get what I'm saying? It's all staying within their realm because they, one, they're not hiring y'all or us. They're not hiring us. They're hiring their own people. So that could have been one avenue for us to get money in our community, in our neighborhood. Two, they're not giving anything back. We're spending all this money with them, but it's not coming back to us at all. Like, at least the fucking government give you a, a, a federal income taxes. Like, you get what I'm saying? State income taxes. You get a tax return at the beginning of the next year. They don't do shit. You get what I'm saying? So if I'm going to war, that's something, that's an example of something I would go to war for. Cause that could really change shit. You feel me? If I'm going to war, nigga, we're going to war, uh, 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 uh against the, this, this fucking society, motherfucker. They destroyed that woman. Got that woman out here being fucking harlots in, in the, in the streets and whores and, you feel me? Al, that man, Al fucking young ass daughters got fake hair in their head, getting perms, wearing wigs and track, and, and they think it's cool. You feel me? Every man, the main uh, specialty of a woman these days is twerking. It's just like, I'm, if I'm gonna go to war, I'm gonna go to war about some shit like that. You niggas just go to war and beef over nothing. So, I'm just saying, y'all wanna talk battle rap. That's battle rap shit for you, man. Niggas is geeking, man. It's big L's in this bitch, bro. You think it's mad or no?